This is The Simpit. I'm your host, Sean Cole, and today I'm here to show you how to fix the R-Factor 2 reverse force feedback issue that some wheel users, mainly direct drive wheel users, experience when trying R-Factor 2 for the first time. Now this video, it's all over the internet. You can find this fix all over, but I figured since our family is starting to get more and more into our factor two that I give you the quick fix in case you have this problem. So what is reverse feedback, reverse force feedback, and how do you know that that is your issue? Well, I'll tell you, when you have reverse force feedback, you will know right away. The moment you fire up the sim, the wheel will spin all the way to the left or the right. It will take effort to get it back to and to hold center. And when you finally start moving, the moment you turn the wheel, it pulls madly in that direction. And when you let go, the wheel will likely bounce back and forth from left to right. It is absolutely undrivable. And within the game, there is no setting that you can change that will actually resolve this issue. So here's the relatively easy fix so that you can actually enjoy the force feedback on one of the best sims on planet Earth. First, make sure that you've exited the game entirely. Then you're gonna wanna go to Windows File Explorer and you're gonna wanna navigate to your hard drive that has Steam installed on it. Then go to Programs x86, then go to the Steam folder, and then go into Steam Apps. From there, go into the folder titled Common, open up the R Factor 2 folder, and then to the User Data folder, followed by the player folder. Within the player folder, you will find a file named controller.json file. Open this file with Notepad, WordPad, or any other text editor. Then use the search tool to look for steering effect. The value here will likely say 10,000. You're going to want to add a minus sign to that 10,000 and make it negative 10,000 and then save that file and close it. When you fire R Factor 2 back up, your wheel will feel proper and you can start enjoying some of the best force feedback in all of sim racing. So while we're on the topic of force feedback for direct drive wheel users, there is another setting that I think is really important within R Factor 2. If you go to the controls tab, you will see the car multiplier setting within the menu. This value will affect the strength and smoothing of your wheel. Now force feedback is totally a personal preference. So you're gonna wanna tune that number to the point that you get most comfortable. For me, I found that somewhere in the ballpark between 40 and 60% got me the best effects within the game. You're gonna just wanna make it just right for you. At the point that your multiplier setting is comfortable, another setting we're trying out is the force feedback smoothing. If you drive over curbing, you can best test the setting. When at zero, the rumble strip will violently shake your wheel when running over them. But as we dial the setting out to five to eight kind of range, it tames that vibration and gives us a better feel. This will also be nice for those concerned about weaker wheel rims being used with big horsepower direct drive motors. I hope that helps you enjoy more of the force feedback from R Factor 2. You can expect to see more videos like this from the Sim Pit in the near future. And if you ever have ideas of tips, videos like this that we can do, give me an email, sean at thesimpit.com. Let me know your idea. And if I use it on the show, I'll send you some Sim Pit stickers. That's going to do it for this one. This is the Sim Pit. I'm Sean Cole, and I'll see you on the track.